let's go actually, you know, get some progress done. And in before I hear a Korok seed in five seconds. Future pal, how many seconds was that? Well, this is a weird looking crater. What on earth is this about? Presumably this guy can play the horn. Hello? Ah, oh, nice. Are you stuck, sir? This guy actually kind of looks cool. He looks like a, a real person. Ugh. Hey, you come down here to rescue me? Ugh. I used to play horn with the stable trotters, it's true. What? The great fairy went to hiding, so, and so the troop is looking for me? Well, from bad to worse, have you heard how Rito Village north of here is struggling to get enough food? Really breaks my heart. The Rito were always good to us when our music troupe was touring the kingdom. So when I heard about a fierce blizzard tearing to, into Rito Village, I couldn't just sit and do nothing. I slipped away from the troop and made for their village with supplies and songs to ease their burdens. Got my wagon going at, going at a quick trot on this road, then suddenly I drove into this hole. It didn't used to be here. The horse I was riding ran off somewhere and my cargo was, has spoiled. The only thing I have left is the wagon. I didn't know that while I was stuck on this hole, the great fairies went into hiding and my troop reformed. It sounds like I should get out of this hole and join back up with the stable trotters as soon as I can, but I can't climb up the side of this hole, not without my wagon at least, and I'd rather not leave it behind. I'm relieved that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. Uh, okay, so can I have him get in the wagon? Get in the wagon. Yeah, yeah, get in the wagon. And uh, that shouldn't be a, an issue at all. I'm in the wagon, ready to go. Yeah, this this will be easy. I can't believe he's standing. Raise it up. Lower it. Move it back so it's within line of sight. And again, Ultra Hand, Ultra Hand plus Recall. Very... Very strong combination. I'm also uh, realizing, to my horror, that I, oopsie, 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 oopsie. I, my, the horror is so great that I forgot my objective. Okay, you're out, but, <laughs> he's flying, he's flying. Nintendo, you think you could have waited for me to set him down? I'm finally out. I get so nervous. I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did. But you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Come to think of it. If I hadn't made such a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval and run off for, on my troop, maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed Rito Village have all spoiled by now anyway. I should get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That'll do more good time being, I should head to Snowfield Stable and play my horn for the Great Fairy there. Oh, one more thing. Please take this. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up on my travels. It's the least I could do for get it, for you getting me out of there. Nice, that's actually kind of rare. Now I better be on my way. Why don't you come to Snowfield Stable too and hear us perform? Okay, I was really worried there that I needed to tow him and I didn't bring the towing supplies. What is my horse doing? But no, they thought of that and thankfully... That quest was really easy. Okay, onward, backward to Snowfield Stable. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, hello. I know you, traveler. We've had a delightful development. Look, I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor fellow getting stuck in a hole in the way to Rito Village. Note to self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the cart anymore. Yeah, yeah. But I'm glad he's out of his funk and fit as a fiddle. Or shall I say, or never mind. Eustace's horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. Yeah, yeah. Now that Eustace is here, we can bring the sound of his horn to the great fairy. It would be wonderful if we could go and perform for her right away. But of course, there's always something holding up the show. 
Our breezer's roof is broken, so we'd be at the mercy of the elements just to look at all that snow falling. We might fall ill in such weather, and how could we perform at our best then? I did try to attach a roof to breezer. Alas, I couldn't reach high enough. Curse my two foot two height. If we can't put a roof on it, our performance for the great fairy is as good as cancelled. Well. Yeah. Uh, good enough. <laughs> we must simply put on a performance. I would. I'm uh, sorry. I will take you. <laughs> Did I hear you say you take us to where the great fairy waits? A gust. Wait. What do you? It has a roof. What do you call that? I'm a fit a proper roof. Oh, you've done it now. Oh, you've done it now. A proper roof, he says. A proper roof. I'll show you a proper roof. It'll be the best dang proper roof. The properest roof you've ever seen. You know what? It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna have blackjack and, you know, the other part of that, that reference. Let's Oh, I can make it even better. Yes. Yes. All right. How's that for a proper roof, you, you bozo? I'll take you. Wonderful. Now that our freezer has a roof, I'd very much appreciate the ride. Oh, I, I'm seeing one slight design flaw with, um with my my thing and it's that I'm probably probably gonna nuke my s I should be fine I, I should be fine I should be fine I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine it's fine uh no no not like that what stop it let me off help I'm falling this isn't safe what's happening help me I wish I, I had a face cam right now. I'm livid. So I was originally going to um, unveil my weapon of mass destruction um, in a fight and surprise you all, but this guy antagonized me. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to fuse this. I'm going to shoot this. And we're gonna get this going. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Go. <laughs> Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> this is amazing. This is so good. I am a god. I am a god among horses. I am the new ruler of this world. Get out. It, the game is lagging really bad. No. Oh. Whoa! It's- it's gone rogue! Stop it! We are truly... Gods. Look at the majesty! Oh, I should probably equip the helm. There we go. It is slowing down the game as molten sci-fi death approaches. Ah! I did it. I did it. <clears throat> I am burning from this. But as long as my horse doesn't get hurt. I am currently on fire. Who thought this was a good idea? Uh, not me. I didn't at all. I'm not quite the god I thought I was, but a god I remain. Invincible. Surrounded by technology. Watch. And weep. He doesn't understand just how close he was to death. And neither will... Oh, let's not crash. Neither will these trees. 
that are completely unharmed. They're that powerful. This guy doesn't stand a chance. Oh, look at him avoid me. Ha <laughs> ha! What are they gonna do? Nothing. That's the answer. Continue to miss and... I died? Come on! I finally did it! Alright. This'll have to do. I'm out of stabilizers. So instead, with the roaring fire at our side, we're going to absolutely barbecue. What is going on over there? Oh, they're fighting a... Is that a traveler or like a... Oh, it's a traveler. Well, unfortunately, the fire doesn't discriminate. So... I will come to your rescue. But it's also your demise. I'm sorry. And I gotta make sure I don't die again. I also might start a small forest fire. Oh, you have a carriage. I also have a carriage. Is your carriage as good as, my, as mine? Bye. Oh, this is close. Okay. <clears throat> Oi, great fairy, the stable trotters have arrived. In flaming style. We've done it, you have our thanks. You've taken us a ride to where we needed to be on the very first try. All right, everyone, no time to dawdle. Strike up the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. I think this might be an original melody. I've been trying to place it. I can't place it. At first, I thought it might have been the Wind Waker, uh, Mikar Awakening medley. It's not. And we have another great fairy, and another... ...scary animation. It is kind of cool, though, that we have NPCs that can see and interact with the great fairies. That really... I don't think that's happened before. The closest we ever got was Tingle wanting to be a fairy, but... I don't think a, a single NPC has ever interacted with a great fairy in Zelda before. Which is quite odd. The great fairy has returned to us. This is one of the greatest days of my life. The, the great fairy herself enjoyed my humble horn playing. What a day. And what a divine presence. What splendor. Oh, I will remember this moment all my life. We can't hang around all day. I must return to the stable to share the good news. Thank you again. Which leaves only your reward. No, don't be shy. Oopsie, that's left the old wallet pretty light. But that's no excuse to skimp on our thanks. A clear conscience is worth every rupee. A captivating, the captivating Maja is now at peace. But she wasn't the only great fairy shut away in a flower pot. That is why the show must go on to the next great fairy hiding place. Yes, I'll be borrowing this horse so that I can get to the next destination. But it won't cause you any trouble. We'll do the responsible thing and return your steed to a stable. Don't you worry. Well then, good traveler. We'll meet again. Thank you. And even though... <clears throat> even though we haven't gotten the tower of the probably the next area that they're at... I will be doing that probably, hopefully, this recording session. So, you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. I would have liked to be released by someone bigger, but... Well, a slim little lad like you is fine too, I suppose. Why? What's the implication there? Um, hmm. <clears throat> it seems the world is not so corrupted as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can enhance your clothing. But of course, I require the necessary materials to do it. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. 
cool. Ah, uh, let's cut this out. There are four of us sisters, and it seems like two of them haven't brought back their power into the world. Once they return, I can make your clothes even stronger. My older sister, Kaisa, is, ne Kaisa is near a stable near the Gerudo region to the south. See you later. Goodbye! Okay. Guess what? We have one... One set of gear that is now at two stars, and it's probably not gonna have a set bonus, unfortunately. No set bonus for the Hylian trouser, or the Hylian set for me. But, you know, it's... It's there, um, and we have a lot of defense under our belt. We're gonna- we're not gonna be one shot quite as much anymore. Okay, now. Where are we going next? Well... Somewhere around here. Uh, in fact, I think we're probably gonna go to the tower. And... See if we can spot the- the glyph from there. Let's go! There it is. It's actually kind of... Surprisingly difficult to find, but... That makes sense. It was on the south side of the cliff, and everywhere I went was north of it. Like, I, I launched up on the tower and saw nothing, so I warped up uh, into the Sky Islands and uh, flew down from there. Okay, where is this thing? It's probably on level ground, I would imagine. That's the weird part with these ones on the sides. I, I'm not exactly sure. Like, it's probably just on the, the only part of this that's horizontal, right? It actually looks like each and every one of these is going to have a Korok in it. As like a little red herring. This one didn't reveal itself until I was right on top of it. Okay. The next chapter of Zelda's story. Let's find out what she's been up to. I thought. This is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, <sighs> uh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> now, Zelda dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Uh, uh... 
I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Oh. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. You know, <clears throat> I don't know if he has a third eye, because considering it's shut, but there is definitely something resembling the Sheikah eye on his forehead. All right, that's uh, that's all the runes or all the glyphs for now. Like there are other glyphs, but something I noticed with this one is, it's the next one we need needed to encounter, and it was glowing. Now, gr the other one, the one to the north, was not glowing. It, maybe it glows when you get close to it, um, but I got decently close and it didn't seem to change, so I might have to uh, encounter these in the order they're given. Either way, let's return over- let's return to Impa before proceeding. Um, there isn't much left- I, much else I'd like to do in this- this episode. Like, obviously we need to explore a little bit, um... But let's let's tie the bow on this quest for now and then see where we can go from there. <laughs>